paper is stood up in front of you. This is the crucial part of this. It's called the pick. A good pick is key to success of the entire caber toss. Once you've picked the caber, gaining balance, get keeping the caber tucked in between your shoulder and your head. Once you've gained balance, then it's time for the for the run. The reason why we run is to get some forward momentum on the caber so that when we put all we got into it to turn it, that forward momentum will keep it going and turning over. Notice the judge standing right behind the athlete. Now he's the one who decides after your caber has turned what your score is based on a clock face, 12 o'clock being perfect all the way to 3 o'clock or over to 9 o'clock. And once you see that caber break 90 degrees and fall to the ground, you're happy as can be. This particular caber, 17 and a half feet long, 125 pounds. Here's a couple examples of a perfect caber toss. Now that's how it's done.